Okay, so hello grade 10, mabuhay. So again, this is Larry M. Del Rosario. And our dis the topic that we will be discussing for today is under Lesson 1, Arithmetic Sequence ng K-12 Learners Module in Mathematics 10. Yung activity number 12, page 20. Of course, uh, it is with answer and complete solution. So, we discuss ko rin kung paano natin na-solve yung different um, item natin doon sa ating activity number 12. So, yung activity number 12 ay pinangala ng something to do. The reason why it is called something to do, simply because it is all about arithmetic series. And aside from that, it is the sum of arithmetic sequence. So, yung topic natin ngayong araw ay under ng sum of arithmetic sequence. Kapag sinabi natin sum, ia-add lang natin lahat ng sequence na hinahanap. Ay lahat ng sequence na ipinapaal sa atin. Okay? So, pwede naman natin isulat yung each term ng ating sequence and then we can simply add it manually. Kaya lang, what if the question is asking for the sum of the first 100 terms, the sum of the first 500 terms. So, hindi siya ganun kadali. Medyo komplikado siya in that sense kasi uh, masyado ng marami yung isusulat mong number. So, that is the reason why i-discuss ko sa inyo kung paano siya gawin. So, yung instruction is to find the sum of each of the following. Para mas maintindihan nyo, let's have a series of activities. Okay. So, the number one, we are go we are asked to find the sum of the integers from 1 to 100. Na-discuss ko na to dun sa previous uh, video na ginawa ko. Uh, we're in, ginawa dito yung, yung Secret of Carl, ni Car yung ginawa ni Carl Friedrich Gass when he was in grade to our grade school. So, yung formula lang na gagamitin natin, again, yung gagamitin lang natin itong formula na to kapag given yung ating first term at yung ating last term. Kapag hindi, I will introduce another formula to you. So, yung ating formula ay S sub N equals N over 2 times A sub N plus A sub 1. So, yung N natin, S, S sub N indicates the, the sum of the sequence where n is that yung where in yung n ay yung number ng terms na iyapag add natin ganon din yung n dito yung a sub n yung last term yung a sub one ay ang first term okay so since we are asked to find the sum of the integers from one to one hundred obviously isandaan yung terms na iyapag add natin okay so we simply have s sub one hundred so, kung ano pinalit natin kay n, ipapalit lang natin din kay n. So, equals 100 divides 2 times yung a sub n natin, which is the last term, which, when, which is 100, plus yung a sub 1 natin, which is 1. So, s sub 100 equals 100 divided by 2 is 50. 100 plus 1 is 101. So, 50 times 101 is 5,050. Okay, in number 2, we are going to add the odd integers from 1 to 100. So, yung crucial dito, by the way, sa lahat naman ng problem solving, is on how you analyze and comprehend the question. Okay? So, dapat alam niyo yung mga terminologies na ginagamit sa math. This time, ano ba yung tinatawag na odd numbers? So, odd numbers or odd integers are integers that are not divisible by 2. Pag sinabing not divisible by 2, kapag dinivide natin yung number sa 2, pwedeng kulang or may gutal. Okay. So, yung given yung ating first term dito, given din yung ating last term, and given din yung value ng n natin. Kasi, yung even numbers, yun yung mga number na divisible by 2, at yung add numbers or add integers, yun yung mga number na not divisible by 2, equally divided sila. Equally yung, equal yung bilang nila from 1 to 100. So, kung equal sila at 100 yung terms na yon, tig 50 sila. So, our n is simply equal to 50. So, 50 yung ia-add nating numbers. Followed by, then i-divide lang natin sa 2 yung numbers na yon. And then, yung a sub 1 natin ay 1 plus what is our a sub n or last term? That is 99. Kasi yung 100 is not an odd number, even number siya. So, yung, yung odd number na pinakamalapit sa 100 ay 99. Okay, so, S of 50 equals 50 divided by 2. 1 plus 99 is 100. 50 divided by 2 is 25 times 100. So, ang sum ng odd integers from 1 to 100 ay 2,500. 
So, in number 3, we are going to add the even integers between 1 and 100. So, kanina, add integers. This time, even integers. And between 1 and 100, 1. So, ano-ano ba yun? So, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Hanggang makalating tayo kay 100. Okay. So, our a sub 1 is simply 2. Our a sub n is simply 100. At, of course, 50 pa rin yung pinag add natin integers. So, we have 50 divided by 2, which is 25. 2 plus 100 is 102. And 25 times 102 is simply 2,550. In number 4, we are asked to find the 20, the, the sum of the first, uh, first 25 terms of the arithmetic sequence 4, 9, 14, 19, and 24. Okay, so I will also have separate video on how the formula was derived. Dito kasi, hindi na given yung ating last term. So, kapag hindi given yung ating last term, eto yung gagamitin nating formula. S sub n equals n over 2 times 2 a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. Where S sub n, kanina lang ulit yon yung, yung number of terms na i-add natin. Ay, ito yung sum ng ating sequence. Yung n represents the number of terms kung ilan yung i-add natin. So, that is 25. Yung 2 times yung A sub 1, yung ating first term. And n, kung ano lang yung value ng n natin dun, ipapalit lang din natin dito. So, magkamukha lang sila. Minus 1 times our common difference. Okay, so, S sub 25, since 25 na yon equals 25 divided by 2 times 2, yung a sub 1 natin ay 4, plus 25 minus 1 times our common difference, which is 9 minus 4, which is 5. So, we have 25 divided by 2 is 12.5 times 2 times 4 is 8, plus 24 minus 1 is 20, 25 minus 1 is 24 times 5. So, 12.5, 8, plus 24 times 5 is 120. So, we have 12.5 times 8 plus 120 is 128, and 12.5 times 128 is 1,600. Okay. So, in number 5, we are asked to, to find the sum of the multiples of 3 from 15 to 45. So, ibig sabihan, from, hindi siya between. So, in, included si 15 at si 45. So, ang una natin gagawin ay i-identify natin yung a sub 1, yung a sub n, at yung common difference. Okay. So, dito, hindi natin alam kung ilan yung numbers na i-add natin. So, missing yung value ng n. Pero alam natin na ang ating a sub 1 ay 15. Yung last term natin or a sub n is 45. At yung common difference natin ay 3 since it is a multiple of 3. Pag sinabing multiple of 3, pag dinivide natin sa 3, walang remainder. So, yun yung 15 followed by 18, 21, 24 hanggang makarating kay 45. So, para hindi, ka rin kayo, hindi, hindi ulit kayo mahirapan, dinerive po na yung formula in getting the value of n. And that is simply n equals a sub n minus a sub 1 all divided by d plus 1. Okay, ibig sabihin, i-add lang natin yung, eh, ma-minus lang natin yung first, yung last term kay first term, i-divide natin kay common difference plus 1. So, n is equal to a sub n, which is 45, minus 15, yung a sub 1 natin, divided by 3, plus 1. Okay, n is equal to 45 minus 15 is 30, divided by 3, plus 1. Okay, so n is equal to, 30 divided by 3 is 10, plus 1 is 11. So, yung value ng n natin ay 11. So, since meron na tayong value ni n at given din yung ating first and last term, pwede natin gamitin yung formula na s sub n equals n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. So, we have, since we have 11, 11 terms na i-add natin, s sub 11 equals 11 over 2 multiplied by the first and last term. That is 15 plus 45. So, 11 over 2 is 5.5 times 15 plus 45 is 60 and 5.5 times 60 is 330. In number 6, ganun din yung process na gagawin natin kamukha nung sa number 5. So, we are going to add the numbers between 1 and 81 which are divisible by 4. Kung yung nauna ay divisible by 3, dito naman ay divisible by 4. So, ano ba yung mga numbers na yon? So, start tayo kay 4, 8, 12, 16, hanggang makarating tayo kay 
AP. So, i-identify muna natin yung A sub 1, A sub n at common difference. Obviously, our common difference is 4 since, a, since all numbers are divisible by 4. Okay, yung A sub 1 natin ay 4. Yung last term natin ay AP. Okay, so using the formula n equals A sub n minus A sub 1 divides D plus 1. Okay, yung A sub n natin ay AP minus a sub 1 which is 4 i-divide natin sa 4 plus 1 n is equal to 80 minus 4 is 76 divided by 4 plus 1 so n is equal to 76 divided by 4 is 19 plus 1 is 20 so we'll gamit na natin yung formula na s sub n equals n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n so we have 20 since 20 yung n natin over 2. So, 20 divided by 2 is 10. Yung first term natin ay 4. Yung last term natin ay 80. 4 plus 80 is 84. And 10 times 84 is 840. So, that is the sum of the, first, of the 20 terms. In number 7, okay, gagamitin natin yung formula ng, arithmet ng sum of arithmetic sequence since hindi na given yung ating hindi na given yung ating last term. So, identify ulit natin yung ating mga given. So, a sub 1 is equal to negative 16. Ayan. n is 20 since we are asked to find the sum of the first 20 terms. And our common difference is negative 4. Since negative 20 minus negative 16 is negative 4. So, s sub n equals yung formula nga natin. So, s sub 20 equals 20 over 2 times 2 times negative 16 yung a sub 1 plus 20 minus 1 times negative 4. So, s sub 20 equals 20 divided by 2 is 10. 2 times negative 16 is negative 32. 20 minus 1 is 19 times negative 4. So, 10 times negative 32 plus 19 times negative 4 is negative 76. So, 10 times since like sign, we, got, we can simply add it and we keep the sign. So, negative 32 plus negative 76 is negative 108. And 10 times negative 108 is negative 1080. Next is we are going to find the first, the sum of the first 10 terms of the arithmetic sequence. 10.2, 12.7, 15.2, 17.7, .7, and so on. So, this time, hindi na naman given yung last term. So, hindi natin pwede gamitin yung formula natin kanina. So, our task is to find, find the first 10 terms. So, identify natin yung given. A sub 1 equals 10.2, N equals 10, D equals 2.5. So, using the formula... So, since 10 terms, S sub 10 equals 10 divides 2 times 2, yung A sub 1 ay 10.2, plus N is 10 minus 1 times 2.5, which is our common difference. Kasi pag sinubtract natin each term, that is 2.5. So, S sub 10 equals 10 divided by 2 is 5, 2 times 10.2 is 20.4, plus 10 minus 1 is 9 times 2.5. So, 5, 20.4 plus 9 times 2.5 is 22.5. So, S of 10 equals 5. 20.4 plus 22.5 is 42.9. So, we have 5 times 42.9 is simply 214.5. So, number 9, we are asked to find 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus blank hanggang makarating kay 53. So, this time, hindi natin alam kung ilang terms yung ia-add natin. Okay. So, gagamitin ulit natin yung formula sa pagkuha ng value ni n. So, identify muna natin yung given. a sub 1 equals 1, a sub n, or last term equals 53, and our common difference is 4. Okay. So, n equals a sub n minus a sub 1 divided by d plus 1. So, n is equal to a sub n is 53, a sub 1 is 1 divided by the common difference which is 4 plus 1. So, 53 minus 1 is 52 divided by 4 plus 1. 52 divided by 4 is 13 plus 1 equals 14. So, our n is 14. We can simply substitute it to the yung nauna nating formula sa pagkuha ng sum of arithmetic sequence. Okay, so we have S sub 14 equals N over 2 or 14 over 2 times first term plus the last term and, one plus, and that is 1 plus 53. So S sub 14 is equal to 14 divided by 2 is 7, 1 plus 53 is 54. So S sub 14 is 7 times 54 which is 378. 
So sa last natin, we have 1 half plus 3 over 2 plus 5 over 2 plus 17 over 2 hanggang makarating kay 19 over 2. So gagamitin ulit natin yung ginamit natin dun sa previous sa number 9. Identify muna natin yung given. So we have a sub 1 equals 1 half. a sub n is 19 over 2. And the common difference is 1. So using the formula, so we have 19 minus 1. Ay, oh, pa, uh, by the way, para hindi kayo mahirapan, tignan nyo. So, lahat sila over 2. Over 2. Okay. So, we can multiply each term by 2 para maalis yung denominator, para hindi kayo malito, para mas maging madali siya sa inyo. So, instead na 1 half, magiging 1 yung value ng a sub 1 natin. Instead of 19 over 2, magiging 19 na lang yung value ng a sub, 2, a sub n natin. Instead of 1, magiging 2 yung value ng common difference. So, we have 19 minus 1 over 2 plus 1. 19 minus 1 is 18 divided by 2 plus 1. 18 divided by 2 is 9 plus 1. So, n equals 9 plus 1 is 10. Okay, so isa-substitute natin ngayon doon sa naunang formula natin. So, 10 yung value ng n. So, this time, ang ginawa ko, inalis ko muna ulit yung denominator na 2. And then, ilalagay ko na lang siya mamaya doon sa final answer. Kasi pwede naman, since magkakamukha yung denominator. So, using the formula, s sub 10 equals, instead of using... Ayan, 10 over 2, instead of using 1 half, tsaka 19 over 2, nilagay ko na lang 1 plus 19. So, S sub 10 is equal to 10 divided by 2 is 5, 1 plus 19 is 20. So, S sub 10 is equal to 5 times 20 is 100. So, since nakuha natin 100, hindi pa yun yung final answer. We have to divide it by 2 kasi lahat sila may remainder na 2. So, 100 divided by 2 is equals 50. Okay, so I hope you learned something on our activity for today. So this concludes our topic on arithmetic sequence. Ito na yung last, uh, by the way, last activity na sinosolve sa ating K-12 Learners Module in Mathematics 10. Okay, so I hope you learned from our lesson for today. Please feel free to watch and like the video and do not forget to subscribe on my channel. If you still have any questions, feel free to comment your question on our comment box. So that's all for today. Thank you and God bless.